Hey guys, Paul Dean from Spoiler City giving you a rundown on importing DLC to your RPG Maker MV games. Oh, and make sure to stick around until the end of the video for a helpful hint about music as well. A number of people get confused about RPG Maker's DLC. I know I did back when I bought DLC for VXAs. You see, the DLC is never downloaded directly into the game file itself. Instead, you have to import any DLC you may have purchased from a separate file into your game file. This means if you pre-ordered MV and got the extra DLC for free, you may not have even seen it yet. It may seem inconvenient, but trust me, it's for your own safety. And some files may have the same name, especially if you're adding your own files outside of the official MV DLC. I use MV through the Steam app, so if you're not sure where the DLC has been downloaded onto your computer, and you use Steam like I do, the easiest way to find it is to open up Steam, right-click on the MV app in the software section, and then select Properties. From here, press the Local File tab and select the Browse Local Files button. This will open up a new folder showing everything the software requires to run, as well as a folder labeled DLC. Opening this folder will reveal all your purchased DLC. Keep this folder open and return to MV. Select the Game tab and push the button Open Folder. Keep the two windows open side by side and open up one of the DLC packages you have purchased. You'll notice that the DLC folders are labeled in the same way as the game folders. Let's open up the images folder. Once again, they look incredibly similar. Simply open up the files which share names and then copy and paste from the DLC into the game folders. You could be more discerning than I am and select only the files that you know you'll use, but I like to know everything that I'm working with for reference in future projects. Repeat this process with all the folders and all DLC. In the case of duplicate files, rename the ones being imported in order to avoid any problems, especially if you're adding files into a game already in progress. Once you're done that, go back to MV and make sure all the files have been added properly. Good game making, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more instructions on how to use RPG Maker MV. A little bonus tip for those of you who stuck around until the end. While making your game, why not make a playlist of all the audio files in the BGM folder? That's background music, in case you didn't know. Anytime a song comes along that fits the style of the game you're making or invokes feelings inside of you, make a note of it somewhere stating the file name as well as what you felt or what it can be used for. This will make the music input portion of your game go much smoother and be more effective. Thumbs up for good advice, right guys? Guys? Hello?